Good afternoon, dear friends. My name is Botagos Keshubaeva. I am an English language teacher from uh, Nazarbayev, uh, from Uskaminagorsk, Nazarbayev Intellectual School. The topic of today's lesson is mind spots, permutation and combination. Lesson objectives. To recognize the topic related vocabulary in the text, to find arguments, to share ideas about Tolusk Malak, to read a text for getting specific information, to watch videos for getting main and detailed information. Expected outcomes. To integrate knowledge of math and English, to demonstrate the usage of mind sports language, to develop critical thinking skills, reading and listening skills through the topic mind sports, permutation and combination. I suggest you a word cloud to the topic mind sports. Please find the words related to the topic. Okay, I see you have found the words uh, uh, mind spots, dominoes, drafts, bridge, go, board games, bagaman, ribbage, chess, scrabble, tolus mala, checkers. Good. Now I'd like you to name to tell the name of the game, find an appropriate word for the def definition of the game from the word cloud. So, what is the name of the game? They are small rectangular blocks marked with two groups of spots on one side. Yes, they are dominoes are small rectangular blocks marked with two groups of spots on one side. Next game. It is a card game for two to four players in which the objective is to play so that the value of one's cards played reaches exactly 15 or 31. It is cribbage. Cribbage is a card game for two to four players in which the objective is to play so that the value of one's cards played reaches exactly 15 or 31. Cribbage. Next game. Uh, what is the game? It is a board game of strategic skill for two players played on a checkered board on which each playing piece is moved according to the precise rules. The object is to put the opponent's king under direct attack from which escape is impossible. It is called checkmate. So what is the name of this game? It is chess. You know chess is a board game of strategic skill for two players. Okay, next game, it is a card game related to whist played by two partnerships of two players who at the beginning of each hand bid for the right to name the trump suit, the highest bid also representing a contract to make a specified number of tricks with a specified suit as trumps. Please remember the words from the word cloud. So, also, what is the name of this game? It is Bridge. Bridge is a card game related to whist, played by two partnerships of two players. Next game is a game for two people, played on a board marked with 
long triangles. Each player has 15 wooden or plastic discs. The players throw dice and move the disc around the board. It is a backgammon. It's a game for two people. You know, it is very popular in our country also. Next game is a also a board game in which words are formed by placing the third tiles in a pattern similar to crossword puzzle. What is the game? It is Scrabble. Scrabble is a board game. Okay, like a cross crossword puzzle. Next one. Oh, is a, it is a game for two players using a draft board and 12 draftsmen each. The object is to put, to jump over and capture the opponent's piece, pieces. Okay. It is checkers or drafts. Drafts is a game for two players using a draft board. It is a very popular game in our school also. Okay. Next one is, this game is played on a grid of black lines, usually 19 to 19. Game pieces called stones are played on the line intersections. Do you know this game? Yes, it is called play. Uh, this game is played on a board which consists of two rows of nine holes. Do you know it? It is Tolus Kmala, Nine Pebbles. is a very popular Kazakh national game, board game. Okay. Uh, did you know that there are almost no mind spots that have permutations and combinations? Let's review permutations and combinations. Hmm. For example, Maksad has 10 popsicles. He gives one to Eric each day for a week. Seven days. You know that uh, there are seven days in a week. How many ways can he do this? The solution is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. This is a permutation. Next example. Karina's coach has allowed her to have flexible schedule where she can train any four days he chooses. How many schedules she can choose from? 7, 6, 5, 4, or 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a combination. Training Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is the same as Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, or Thursday. So, what is the difference between permutations and combinations? Permutations relates uh, permutations relate to arranging people digits numbers alphabets letters colors keywords for permutations are arrangements arrange and as for combinations a combination refers to the selection of menu food clothes subjects teams keywords are select choice So, what is the difference? In mathematics, we use more accurate language. If the order doesn't matter, it is a combination. If the order does matter, it is a permutation. In other words, a permutation is an ordered combination. What mind games 
involve permutations or combinations. Yes, there are chairs, checkers, tolus malak. Uh, the rules of these games are strict in permutations, but moves are different in combinations. Let's uh, watch a video about rules of a Kazakh national game. Many specific words and expressions are used to describe the game. Watch uh, the video for the first time and jot down them, uh, jot, jot down the specific words and expressions while, while you are watching the video. Tagisku Malak. Tagisku Malak means nine stones. Number nine was considered sacred among ancient Mongols and Turkic peoples. It is a logic board game developing mathematical thinking and self-control. It was also called algebra for Chibans. And for the game you need to know all basics of mathematics. For the game you need a rectangular board with 18 oblong holes, or tau. Between rows there are two more big holes of round or oblong shape, kazan. Each of the two players had 81 stones and they put 9 of them into the holes. Players make moves alternately. Making a move, the player takes all the stones out of any filled hole on his side and puts them into holes one by one counterclockwise. The last stone goes back to the hole. If the last hole is the opponent's hole and the number of stones in it becomes even, then the stones from this hole go to the kazan of the player who was making the move. After that, the turn goes to the opponent. If after a move any hole contains three stones, then this hole is declared Tuzdik, sacred place. Subsequently, each stone that gets into the Tuzdik goes to the kazan of the player, on whose side the Tuzdik is. But the player can't have a Tuzdik in the ninth hole and also opposite the Tuzdik of the opponent. Each player can have only one to stick at a time. The one who gathers more stones in his kazan wins. Did you manage to write down specific words and expressions related to this game for describing it? Okay. Good job. Now, watch this video again and fill in the table. Write no more than one word. Tagiskumalak Tagiskumalak means nine stones. Number nine was considered sacred among ancient Mongols and Turkic peoples. It is a logic board game developing mathematical thinking and self-control. It was also called Algebra for Chibans. And for the game you need to know all basics of mathematics. For the game you need a rectangular board with 18 oblong holes, or tau. Between rows there are two more big holes of round or oblong shape, kazan. Each of the two players had 81 stones and they put 9 of them into the holes. Players make moves alternately. Making a move, the player takes all the stones out of any filled hole on his side and puts them into holes one by one counterclockwise. The last stone goes back to the hole. If the last hole is the opponent's hole and the number of stones in it becomes even, then the stones from this hole go to the kazan of the player who was making the move. After that, the turn goes to the opponent. If after a move any hole contains three stones, then this hole is declared Tuzdik, sacred place. Subsequently, each stone that gets into the Tuzdik goes to the kazan of the player, on whose side the Tuzdik is. But the player can't have a Tuzdik in the ninth hole and also opposite the Tuzdik of the opponent. Each player 
can have only one to stick at a time. The one who gathers more stones in his kazan wins. Let's check. Uh, you have already told that, you, uh, that there are specific versions expression related to Torres Kmalak game. Uh, first is uh, Torres Kmalak, Nine Pebbles. This is a national game of the Kazakhs. Next word is Otau. In English it co. Uh, the meaning of hole. Or pit. Kazan, kettle, you feel in the word store. The next word is kmalak. It is in English pebble. It means in the game counter. And another word, tuzduk. In English sacred place, house in the steppe. Uh, you feel in the third place which is number five. It means in the game acquired accumulation whole. Do you have the same? Okay, good job. Thank you. Let's move to another slide. And now uh, we are going to read a text about history and development of Tolusk Malak in our country. It contains a lot of dates. In groups, you are to make a chronological table of the events connected with history and development of this national game. Please use any form of the table. Use your imagination. The next task is compare your group table with another group's ones. Which events were missed? And the last task related to the text is present three main events that are milestones of the development of Douglas Malak in Kazakhstan, according to your group's opinion. Now let's read the text. Tolusk Malak, Nine Pebbles, is the Kazakh name of, Man of a Mankala game. The number nine has a high significant significance in the folk beliefs and mythology of Central Asian peoples. It was considered auspicious. Mankala games reached Central Asia by the Silk Road through the spread of Islam. Many boards are traditionally carved in wood but nowadays they are mostly produced of plastic. In the West, the game was first described in 1906 by Nikolai Nikolaevich Pantisov, Russia, and in 1911 by Richard Carls, Germany. The first tournament in which players from all over Kazakhstan participated was held in Almaty in 1948. It was won by Shorman Otigena from Jambul. The Togusk Malak rules were unified in 1949 by Muhtar Uezov, Talibia Konishpaev and others, before many different variants existed. Two of them, Bistimshi and Kozdatu, are still played by children. The national championships of Kazakhstan started in 1974. In 1992, the first women championship of Kazakhstan was won by Irina Nold, a German-Russian, now who lives in Frankfurt, Germany. Since the fall of the Soviet Union, the game rapidly rapidly gains popularity in Central Asia. The Tolusk Malak Federation of Kazakhstan began in 2004. In 2008, in international, in, in 2008, an international Tolusk Malak Federation was created. There are regular Tolusk Malak championships held in Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and Russia, Altai. 
Local tournaments are also in Urumqi, China and in Mongolia. The first tournament outside Central Asia was organized in August 2006 at the Mind Sports Olympiad in London, England. It was won by Aidosi Jana from Kazakhstan. On November 1 till 7, 2010, the first World Championship was held in Astana, Kazakhstan. The 25 participants of the men's championship represented 14 nations. The Togusk Malak World Champions were Asil Daliyeva and Galamjan Timirbaev. The best European player was Yuri Nold. You can see the pictures on this slide. Asil Daliyeva, Galamjan Timirbaev and Yuri Nold. In, nine, uh, in 2005, the game was used by the computer scientist Cox Scott at the University of Alaska to teach uh, his students the JavaScript programming language. Togust Mala can be played online at the IG Game Center since September 16, 2009 where it has become one of the most popular games. In 2011, a very strong computer program called Togusk Malak 2011 was de developed by Irnar Shambayev, who lives in Pavladar, Kazakhstan. In Central Asia, the game is promoted as a national sport. Although it was originally played only by men, today many women, women are masters. There are also blind players such as Kurman Betov. Do you remember the task? You are to make a chronological table of the events in your groups. I'd like to introduce the, the these kind of tables made by uh, my students. Uh, there are four different uh, visual aids. Uh, the first one is uh, this one. Uh, the, chron the chronology starts from 1906 and then 2006. Good job. Let's see another. This table also presents, presents the events starting from 1906 and ending 2008. They have one more event. Also, it is, I think it is a very good job. This uh, uh, visual aid is very interesting. It is performed uh, in a form of a rainbow. Good job. Really, uh, actually, it starts from 1906 and uh, shows the last uh, date. The last year is uh, 2010. Also, it's very interesting and creative job. Thank you. And uh, the last visual aid, it is a, a table uh, pre which describes the different event, events starting from 1906 and ending 2010. Good job. And you can see here the, the milestones of the development of Togus Kmolak in our country. And uh, uh, do you remember the other tasks? You are to compare your group's tables with other groups. And I think you have uh, found uh, some, miss some missing dates. Okay. And, uh, and the last task is uh, 
two present remain events that are milestones of the development of Togusk Malak in our country. You can work in groups. Three main events according to your tables, which you remember the best. Okay? Thank you. And um, today uh, I prepare a, a task for formative assessment. It will be a listening task. You are to listen to the news about Kazakhstan Togusk Malak Championship and fill in the gaps. Write no more than three words. Success criteria are if uh, the uh, learning objectives of this uh, task is to understand specific information in unsupported extended talk on a range of familiar and unfamiliar general and curricular topics. And uh, you will meet uh, this learning objective if you can answer six questions out of seven correctly. Now listen to the news about Kazakhstan Togus Kumalak Championships and fill in the gaps. Write no more than three words. Please look at the task. There are seven words which you are to complete. Now let's listen. You will listen twice. Kazakhstan Youth Championship on the National Mankala Table Game Togus Kumalak has kicked off in Kazilorda. Fifteen teams gathered from all regions of the country, from Astana and Almaty cities, to compete in intelligence and speed of thought. The country's titled sportsmen will judge the athletes. The scientists call the game Togus Kumalak as the algebra of Shefford. Its basic concept lies in the precise mathematical calculation and properly structured tactics. The main task is to gather as many balls as possible on your side of the board. The game develops mathematical thinking and trains character in the athletes. Nearly 200 athletes will compete in three age categories, under 16, 18 and 20 years. Competitions will take place in several stages. The results will be announced in five days. I am ready to listen once more. Kazakhstan Youth Championship on the National Mankala Table Game Togus Kumalak has kicked off in Kazilorda. Fifteen teams gathered from all regions of the country, from Astana and Almaty cities, to compete in intelligence and speed of thought. The country's titled sportsmen will judge the athletes. The scientists call the game Togus Kumalak as the algebra of Shefford. Its basic concept lies in the precise mathematical calculation and properly structured tactics. The main task is to gather as many balls as possible on your side of the board. The game develops mathematical things thinking and trains character in the athletes. Nearly 200 athletes will compete in three age categories, under 16, 18 and 20 years. Competitions will take place in several stages. The results will be announced in five days. Now let's check. Kazakhstan Youth Championship on the National Mankala Table Game Dokus has kicked off in Kuzlorda. Uh, Fifteen teams gathered from all regions of the country, from Astana and Almaty cities, to compete in intelligence and speed of thought. The country's title sportsmen will, will judge the athletes. The scientists call the game Dokus as the algebra of shepherds. Its basis lies in the precise mathematical calculation and properly structured tactics. The main task is to gather as many balls as possible on your side of the board. The game develops mathematical thinking and trains character in athletes. Nearly 200 athletes will compete in three age categories, under 16, 18 and 20 years. Competitions will take place in several stages. 
The results will be announced in five days. Do you have six or seven right answers? First one, 15 teams. The second, speed of thought. And next, algebra of shepherds. Number four, mathematical calculation. The fifth, the border. Number six, 200 athletes. And the last one, announced. Good job. You have six or seven correct answers. You have achieved this learning objective. My congratulations. The, the last uh, um, task is for speaking. I'd like you to choose a position, find strong arguments to share your own ideas about the following statement. Tolusk Malar is not a sport. To which ex do you agree or not agree with this statement? Choose your position, find strong arguments. Also, it is a group work. Do you agree with this statement? Togus Kumala is not a sport. Do you agree or not? Why? Give the argument why you don't agree and why you agree with this statement. Okay, you have find you have found the arguments against and for Tolus Malak is not a spot for this statement. And now your home task is to write a paragraph in 80 words, choosing a position and finding strong arguments to share your own ideas about the following statement. Tolusk Mala is not a sport. You will write a paragraph in 80 words. Now let's come back to the lesson objectives of our lesson. Mind sports, permutation and combination. Uh, how we recognize the topic related vocabulary in the text? Yes, you have done. You have uh, read the text about Toglus Malak and you have found uh, a lot of uh, vocabulary uh, relating to the topic mind sports and at the beginning of the lesson you have uh, revised uh, the name of the names of the mind sports games and um, have you found arguments to share ideas about Douglas Kumalak? yes of course you have found arguments uh, and you share ideas and give a strong gave a strong argument to the statement of Kumalak is not sport. Okay, good. And the next objective was to read the text for getting specific information. Yes, you have done. You have uh, uh, found uh, and uh, found specific information. You have made a chronological table of the events given in the text about the history of the game, national game in our country. And you have, and the last, you have watched videos for getting main and detailed information. You have watched two videos about Tukus Malak and uh, one uh, video was for 
for the formative assessment for today's lesson. And you have coped with this assessment very well. Thank you. So, and as a feedback, I ask you to write three things what has been learned today in the lesson, two things what remained unclear for today, uh, for you in today's lesson, and one thing what is necessary to work on please write about them three things what has been learned two things what remained unclear and one thing what is necessary to work on thank you Thank you for your attention. This is the end of our lesson. The materials of the online lesson you can find is available here in the site given in this uh, sli on this slide. Thank you for your attention and for your active participation in the lesson. This slide presents the resources which were used in the materials of, uh, of my lesson. Thank you.